Hi, this is Fred Litt, and welcome to Workflow and Style, where you will learn how to use your personal technology to be more organized, make better presentations, and enhance your bottom line. Our topic is Word, Dropbox, and your iPad, where you will learn to use your iPad to create Word documents and manage them on the cloud with Dropbox. Let's get started. Our project requires that we download and install Word and Dropbox. Let's begin by tapping on the App Store. Let's go type in Dropbox. And in the upper left we see Dropbox and I'm going to tap on the little cloud. Once open appears I know the download has completed. Now let's type in Word in the upper right. Tap on Word. And this brings up Microsoft Word in the upper left. I'll tap on the cloud and we'll install this app. Open is now displayed so I know that Microsoft Word is completed downloading. I'm going to tap on the menu button at the bottom of my iPad mini. And now I see that I have Dropbox and Word. And I'm going to tap on Dropbox and I'm going to set that up. I'm going to swipe and swipe and swipe. And finally it says sign in at the bottom. So I'm going to sign in. And I'm logged in and I see all of my folders to the left. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to sign into Microsoft Word. So I'm going to tap on Word. And I'm going to swipe and swipe, continue, create and edit documents. And I'm done. Now I've already logged in, so this brings me to the introductory screen of Microsoft Word. I'm going to tap on Fred. As you can see, my account has already been set up. Now you'll also see connected services. Now I need to connect this to Dropbox, so I'm going to tap on Add a Service. And being that Dropbox has already been set up, I'm going to tap on Dropbox. I'm going to tap on Allow to allow me to talk to Dropbox. And now when I create a document in Word, it will allow me to save it in my Dropbox account. So now I'm going to return to my desktop and I'm going to open up Dropbox. I'm going to tap on Start E, open up my computer. On the left hand side I have a favorite for Dropbox. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to create a new folder for this project. I'm going to right click, New, Folder, and I'm going to call this iPad Word Docs. Hit enter and I've now added a folder in my Dropbox account. Of course it's empty. Now let's go back to Word on my iPad. So I'm going to tap on blank document and I'm just going to type in this is my first document and I'm going to tap on this button that points to the left and as you can see at the top it wants me to enter a name. You see where document is and, and I'm going to type in test document and now I'm going to tap on Dropbox Personal because that's where I want it to go. I'm going to tap on iPad Word Docs and now it knows where to save my document to. So, so in summary, it's going to save my first document called Test Document. It's going to save it in iPad Word Docs. And now in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to tap on Save. Now when this is all done, this document will be saved to Dropbox. And on the left hand side, you'll notice it automatically appeared on my desktop. How great is that? Now to continue this test on my desktop, I'm going to double click on test document and open it up. And I'm going to add a couple of lines. So I'm going to hit a, I'm going to hit the enter key. And I'm going to type in this is a test sentence. And I'm going to save it, control S. I'm going to close this document. And now if everything worked out perfectly, the document that my iPad mini is talking to via Word, via Dropbox, will have that content in it. So now back to my iPad mini, I'm going to tap on test document. It's going to open up. And look, it has, this is a test sentence. Just to confirm, on my desktop, I'm going to double click, start left arrow, and as you can see, it's perfect. That's great. Now let's return to my iPad mini. 
I'm going to hit the left arrow in the upper left and this is my listing of documents that I have available. Now let's assume I'm done with this document so I'm going to return to the desktop. I'm going to close this and now let's assume I delete the document. So I'm going to right click and go down to delete and left click. Now when I try and open this document let's see what happens. Ah, can't find the file. That's, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. So the only problem is that this does not yet auto refresh. So it still says it's there. So that's a little bit of a problem. Now back to my iPad mini, let's create a new document. So I'm going to tap on new, blank document. And I'm going to type in this is doc2. I'm going to hit the little back arrow button in the top left. And it's asking me for a name, so I'll call this Fred Doc 2. I make sure I tap on iPad Word Docs. It knows which folder to go to. And in the upper right, I'm going to tap on Save. And when I do this, it should automatically go up to the cloud and come back down to my desktop. Ready, set, tap. So on my iPad Mini, we have the Fred Doc 2. And let's say I want to delete that. I'm going to tap on the second button to the right with a little box with an up arrow and it gives me delete. So I'm going to tap on delete. It says, are you sure you want to delete it? I'm going to tap on delete. And now it's gone. Now it's gone from the iPad mini and it's gone from my desktop Dropbox account. That's pretty good. So now let's create a document on my desktop and let's see if it makes its way to my iPad mini. So I'm in the iPad Word Docs folder in Dropbox. I'm going to right click, click on New, Microsoft Word Doc. We'll call this Fred Doc 1. So I've created the document. It's blank. Now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to type in this is another test doc and save it. I'm going to close it. Now being that we haven't opened it yet, it won't show in the recent list on my iPad mini. So I'm going to tap on open. I'm going to tap on iPad Word Docs and look, there it is. Now once again, I'm going to edit it on my iPad mini. So I'm going to tap on Fred Doc 1, which will open it up. And there's my content. So I'm going to tap inside, hit a couple of returns, and I'm just going to type in some couple of characters just for test purposes. I'm going to hit the back arrow in the upper left, which saves it. Give it a couple of seconds. Back to my desktop. I see in the lower right that my document has been updated on my desktop. I'm going to open up Word. And there it is. Very nice. I hope this video has given you new ideas to help you save time and stay competitive. If you found this presentation helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Workflow and Style channel. Your comments and recommendations are always appreciated. This is Fred Litt. Thanks for watching.